Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today, I am thrilled to introduce you the concept of multi-threading. Have you ever wondered how some applications seem to juggle numerous tasks effortlessly? Well, it's all thanks to multi-threading. So, before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way, you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Multi-threading in C-Shop. Multi-threading is one of the most important concepts in C-Shop that we need to understand as a developer. Before deep dive into the concept of multi-threading in C-Shop, let's understand multitasking first. What is multitasking? Multitasking is like performing multiple tasks at the same time. It's when we do more than one thing simultaneously. Imagine you are cooking dinner, also talking on the phone. You are handling two tasks at once. That's the multitasking. Another example could be when you are watching TV and texting a friend. You are dividing your attention between the TV show and the conversation on your phone. So that's another form of multitask. In computers, multitasking happens when your device runs different programs or applications at the same time. For instance, you might have a web browser open, music playing, and the messaging app all running simultaneously. In simple terms, we can say that multitasking is about doing multiple things together whether it's in everyday life or on a computer. One of the examples I can give it to you that is Windows operating system. The Windows operating system is a multitasking operating system. So you must be thinking how does the operating system execute multiple application at a time. Operating system uses processes to execute multiple application at the same time. So what is process then? Process is nothing but a part of the operating system which is responsible for executing the program or application. So, to execute each and every program or application, there will be a process. So, we can take help from the task manager to see the process that executes our application. So, what we need to do is, we just need to right click on the task bar and just click on the task manager option, which will open the task manager window. From that window, just click on the processes button as shown below, right? So, here if you see, there are multiple tabs over there in task manager. Processes section, we are able to the listed application right so if you see the cpu memory disk network gpu what are the consumption these processes are doing right now if we go to the details section we would be able to see this pid pid is nothing but the process id every processes has having pid which is unique right if you see this mspin.exe it is having 11288 and the status is running right cpu memory and memory how much it got consumed it is all those details we would be able to see in the details tab. So we can say that we have an operating system and under the operating system we have processes that run our application. So the important point is under the process application runs. To run the code of an application the process internally makes use of the concept called thread. What is thread? A thread is a lightweight process that is responsible for executing the application. By default every process has at least one thread that is responsible for executing the application code and that thread is called main thread. Thus by default, every application can be considered a single threaded application. Okay, now let's talk about the multi-threading. What is multi-thread? So multi-threading is the capability of running multiple tasks concurrently within a program. It can make our program more responsive and interactive and run faster than a non-threaded version. Let's try to understand multi-threading with the diagram shown over here. So here process starts the main thread and main thread starts two threads say thread 1 and thread 2. Thread 1 and thread 2, thread 1, thread 2 and main thread do their work concurrently then the processes gets finished. It's a simple way of representation of multi-threading. Now let's talk about how to implement multi-threading in C-Shop. So it's a just a four step process. Step number one, we need to import namespace system.threading. For that we need to write using system.threading. Step number two, we need to create a thread that will run method, method one concurrent. So we have two options for creating a thread. Option one, we need to use thread start and thread class. So first of all, we need to create an instance of thread start class. So for that, we need to write thread start, thread delegate is equal to new thread start. And here we need to pass the name of the method that we are planning to execute with the help of thread. So here I have passed this method one. See this method one, method one is nothing but the static method that basically having one for loop that is going to get iterated up to 10 times and then it is just going to print this statement into this console window method one writing it and it is just making thread sleep to 100 milliseconds 
once we create this object of the thread start class we need to create an object of the thread class for that i need to write thread thread1 is equal to new thread and here i need to pass this object of this thread start which is nothing but the thread delegate over here i just wrote the thread delegate over here so once we get the object created in the thread class we can use it further right okay so now let's see the option number 2 here we are going to use the thread class directly so here what we need to do we need to create an instance of the thread class thread thread1 is equal to new thread and method1 here i'm just going to pass this name of the method that we are planning to execute with the help of this thread so thread thread1 is equal to new thread method1 so this is the second step now coming to the step number 3 we need to start the thread for starting the thread we need to use the start method so thread1 dot start we need to write it now come to the step number 4 here we need to wait for the thread one to finish before exiting so how we are going to make main thread to wait for the thread one for that we need to use this join method thread one dot join we need to write it okay so now let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in action here we are on visual studio here we are going to see the demo of the multi thread in order to show the demo of multi threading i have created one console application named multi threading demo that has program program dot cs file we have name space thread demo that has one class name program that has main method which and here in console dot write line statement i am printing this statement come and enjoy welcomes all of you then console dot read as i said earlier every process has at least one thread that is responsible for executing the application code so i'm just going to verify okay so for that what i have to do i need to execute this program i have executed this program it is getting executed over here and here i put the breakpoint at line number 13 so right now control is here now i need to go to the debug then i need to go to window then i need to click this thread right once i click this thread i am able to see this is the main thread main thread right multi threading dot demo dot dll thread demo dot program dot basically main thread is being executed as a part of this program right now it is responsible for printing this system so dot right line learn and try welcomes all of you right so even though i have not created any thread by default main thread is already there support processes it is basically responsible for executing the application and that's what it is getting executed i click continue then this statement got printed over here right learn and joy welcome so here we are in visual studio here we are going to see the demo of the multi thread same program i have modified little bit in order to implement multi threading we need to follow couple of the steps step number 1 we need to import this name space now there is a name space named thread demo that has class program in program class is having one main method nothing but the entry point of this application here i am just this statement console multi threading demo in c sharp and then as a part of step number 2 we need to create a thread that will run the method method 1 currently what is the method 1 method 1 is nothing but the static method over here that is returning the void run type what method 1 is doing it is just iterating uh, 10 times with the help of this for loop then printing this statement method 1 writing this statement in console then making this thread live for 100 millisecond that's what this method is doing so coming to the step number 2 here we need to create a thread that will run the method method 1 currently how we are going to do that first of all as a part of option 1 we can create thread with the help of thread start and the thread class for that what i need to do i need to create an object of this thread start class thread start thread delegate is equal to new thread start and here i am passing name of the method in the method 1 over here. whatever the object that we got created with the help of this instance creation i'm just passing into the thread class object initiation type that's what i have written thread thread1 is equal to new thread thread delegate so we will be getting an instance of this thread class that is we are storing into thread1 variable over okay if if we going to opt the option number 2 we can create thread directly with the help of thread class what we need to do is we can write thread thread1 is equal to new thread method one directly method one we are going to supply as a part of this thread constructor so it will be giving us the thread one as a part of object of this thread class similarly what we got over so either way we can create a thread class then we are going to call the part of step number 3 we are going to call the start method in order to start the thread this statement is responsible for starting the thread that's what i have written thread one dot start as a part of step So what I have done over here, I have given some verb to main thread to do that. For that, what I have done, I have created one for loop, and this statement I gave main thread to print it into this console window. 
That's what. This statement is going to get executed for 10 times. Then this statement will get printed into console. Bit. Then here also, I made this thread sleep for 100 milliseconds. Okay. Now, as a part of step number 4, we need to wait for thread 1 to finish before exiting. Sometimes what happens, if you are not going to put thread.join method, what will happen? This statement will get executed even though thread 1 is getting executed. Right? So we wanted to wait for the thread 1 to finish before executing this application. That's what I have used this join method of the thread class. Then finally, I am just printing thread 1 and main thread have finished. Right? So this statement at the end, I wanted to print into this console window. That's what I have written this statement. So let me execute this program and show this output. Okay, so output got appeared into this console window. We see multi threading demo in C sharp got print. First statement entered main thread doing some work. Method one writing this statement. Method one writing this main thread doing some work. Main thread doing some work. Method one writing this statement. Method one writing this and so on. And at the last thread one and main thread have finished. So whatever the main thread was supposed to do that was executed and as well as thread one executed their task what is happening over here basically it is happening context switching over here context switching means sometimes uh, processor is allocating some resources to thread one to execute some task and then it is just switching the context to the main thread so that's what this statement is getting executed based on the context switching and the time slicing also because uh, if you notice here sometimes main thread got it and executed some work Similarly, thread one got some time to get executed. So this statement, these two statement got executed. Main thread two statement got executed. Based on the time slicing and this context switch, it is switching their execution. And that's why this statement is printing in that fashion. That's how this multi-threading works. Benefits of multi-threading in C. Why should we care about multi-threading? Well, it's all about a speed, efficiency, and responsiveness. By using threads, we can break down tasks, our program can perform computations, handle user input and process data simultaneously. So think about it like this, a single threaded program is like a solo musician playing all the instruments. But a multi-threading program is like a full band with each member contributing to create an amazing symphony of performance. Doesn't sound exciting? So I have listed down a couple of benefits associated with multi-thread. So number one, ensuring a quick responding user interface. Guarantees that our user interface remains quick and interactive. Number two, optimizing processor utilization during input output operation. With multi threading, it maximizes the efficiency of processor resources during periods of waiting for input output tasks to finish. Number three, dividing CPU intensive tasks for parallel execution on multi core machines. So it basically helps us to divide the extensive computational tasks to run concurrently on a multi-core machine for enhanced processing efficiency. There are also drawbacks of multi-threading. What are those? Number one, require additional lines of code for task completion. Number two, multi-threaded applications pose challenges in writing, comprehending, debugging, and sustaining itself. Number three, on a single core machine, multi-threading might result in performance degradation. So whenever we are going to use multi-threading, keep in mind it should not be get executed in the single core machine because there is a possibility it can degrade the performance of the program itself. Instead of benefit, it is just going to give the drawback. Okay, so that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video, we understood the concept of multitasking, what process is, what thread is and how they are related to each other. Then we talked about how to implement the multi-threading in C-sharp program stepwise with simple example. And finally, we talked about benefits and drawbacks associated with the multi-threading. So there are multiple concepts associated with multi-threading and we will be seeing the important ones one by one in my coming videos. So stay tuned. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.